Someone once told me that driving on Philippine roads is like a dry run for an expedition to the moon. Bit of a stretch, but I completely understand where they're coming from. Which is why when you drive a car with low ground clearance, it may seem like more than just an inconvenience to most. This is one of the points where SUVs are at their finest, because other than their high ground clearance and rugged looks, they also have diesel engines to help you stretch your budget. Well, on this list, at the very least, most of them have diesel engines. Now, looking at all the options available out there and on autodeal.com.ph might make your head spin. So here now is a quick list. Our picks our top 10 best SUVs that are available right now. The Nissan Terra has been lauded for its handsome looks, refined ride, and advanced tech features that are more seamless compared to its previous iterations. Now, the Terra stands as one of the better offerings in this segment, save maybe for the interior, which can be a little uninspiring, but everything else ticks all the right boxes, and the good definitely outweighs the bad. Powerful diesel engines, seven seats, and top-notch comfort that other SUVs would be jealous of. And that comfort is thanks to coil springs and those zero gravity seats. Oh man, what a combination. The latest Everest has a new level of balanced off-road and on-road capabilities, a trademark of the Ford brand. Its stylish design, innovative tech, and premium interior make it one of the brand's best sellers. The non-tumbling second row makes for a challenging third row ingress egress though, and the heaving engine sound penetrates the cabin, but overall, the improved performance and beefy exterior make this one a worthy choice. With a 225mm ground clearance and 800mm water weighting capacity, allowing it to tackle various terrains with ease. The Everest is perfect for our potholed and flood-prone roads, and it does so with style. Always a strong contender in the Philippine auto market, the Mitsubishi Montero Sport is among the pioneers in the midsize SUV trend, and to this day, continues to maintain its popularity. Its high power output, low fuel consumption and exhaust emissions, and easy to use infotainment system make it a delight to drive. It comes with a few quirks though. The third row seats are a bit difficult to put up, the kick to open tailgate feature works intermittently, and the reverse camera has a low resolution. Still the Montero Sport remains a valued companion to many drivers for its clean-cut interior and driving dynamics. A couple of hundred thousand Philippine pesos more expensive than the previous generation, but yeah, we'd still pick one up. To see why, click right here. Affordability and reliability come front and center in the Isuzu MUX. Its every aspect is geared towards its function as an SUV and comes in either a fuel-efficient 1.9 liter or a larger 3.0 liter diesel engine. Even with a smaller engine, it still delivers the power needed for the battlefield that are the streets of Manila. But with better fuel economy, all with the same space and seating that the segment is known for. Ride comfort has also noticeably improved compared to its predecessor. Steering feels a little heavy though, and the piano black accents and road noise isolation can be improved. However, overall, the MUX prides in its fuel economy, comfortable ride, and competitive price tag. Now, the D-Max got a really big upgrade, a revamp, a refresh, whatever it is that you call it, so expect the same thing for the MUX. Coming soon, I hope. The reigning king of sales in the midsize SUV segment, the Toyota Fortuner shows how an iconic nameplate can make a huge impact with regard to consumer trust. The new model has undergone an extensive refresh. Its infotainment comes standard with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as its bi-beam LED headlights. It also has better fuel efficiency and livelier torque delivery. It comes with a few cons though, ride is not as refined, rear cargo is still compromised, and the passenger space is a bit limited. Despite these, the Fortuner is still a force to be reckoned with. And from the base G all the way up to the top LTD or limited, depending on how you want to say it, everybody gets a reverse camera, you get a reverse camera, you get a reverse camera, you get a reverse, everybody gets a reverse camera. It's amazing. Chevrolet's Trailblazer is one of the most powerful entries into the midsize SUV segment. It owes its power to its 2.8 liter Duramax engine with easy to remember power and torque figures that are the highest in its class. It is also aesthetically pleasing with its imposing exterior and comes with a spacious cabin and cargo hold. On top of these, it has a light steering that feels perfect for city or countryside driving. The rear design could have been better, but that's a minor peeve, all things considered. Despite all its perks and competitive price tag, the Trailblazer remains an underrated choice, but one that is definitely worth consideration. 
The Patrol Royale is Nissan Philippines' flagship large luxury SUV. This model features a sleeker, more modern style than its predecessor, yet maintains the ruggedness and commanding road presence that are hallmarks of a patrol. It fits eight passengers, yes, eight, in absolute comfort with plush leather seats, polished aluminum, and wood grain paneling. It is one of the few SUVs in the market powered by a responsive 5.6-liter V8 gasoline engine. It features a high ground clearance for all road conditions, a very capable four-wheel drive system, and remarkable safety features. On the downside, the interior feels a bit dated, and fuel economy, well, is not very fuel efficient on our traffic-choked streets. Overall though, the Nissan Patrol Royale truly reigns in supreme ride comfort, engine power and responsiveness, stellar steering and handling, all while remaining a relative bargain in its segment. And when I say relative, I mean it in this way. Go to our website, use our car comparison tool, and put the Royale up against the others in its segment, and you'll be pleasantly surprised at its price, if you can afford it. <laughs> Another gasoline-powered entry is the Ford Expedition. Aside from its mighty 3.5-liter 60-degree V6 EcoBoost engine, man, that was a mouthful, the Expedition packs a lot of premium amenities that'll give you a 5-star rating experience worthy of the luxury attached to its name. Plus, its extensive dimensions translate to an immense cabin and spacious cargo hold. It has a few drawbacks though. It has no 360-degree camera, body tends to rattle over bumps, and interior materials leave something to be desired. But still, the Ford Expedition's improved driving experience, striking exterior, and colossal space gives the other models a run for their money. Although the thing costs like an apartment, inside, it's like a fully furnished studio, man. Have you seen it? You gotta check it out. Since its debut more than half a century ago, the Suzuki Jimny has enjoyed a steady popularity and has firmly cemented its spot as one of the most capable mini SUVs of all time. The biggest draw of the 2021 model would have to be its classic look. Suzuki has blended this design with a modern touch that makes this small SUV stand out in terms of aesthetic. It comes with a proper 4x4 system and an exterior that is well laden with rugged and quirky styling, truly perfect for our challenging local roads. The 2021 Suzuki Jimny remains a beloved choice for on or off-roaders for all the right and even wrong reasons. And going! Now I do understand it's a little bit pricey and practical isn't really the Jimny's strength, but this car, you can't deny that it's oozing with personality and quirkiness. Sort of like Fran Drescher from The Nanny. Oh, Mr. Sheffield. <laughs> oh, God. Don't do that again. Wow, never. I'm never doing that again. The Toyota Land Cruiser has over 65 years of off-roading heritage. Its latest model is proof of how the brand has evolved from a full-blooded off-road vehicle to one of the most luxurious SUVs in the market. The LC is a very capable 4x4 that boasts benchmark setting statistics both in form and function. It's now equipped with advanced functions such as vehicle stability control, traction control, hill climb assist, multi-terrain select, and crawl control. Under the hood is a massive 4.5-liter V8 diesel engine that can churn out a maximum output of 232 horsepower and 615 newton-meters of torque. It's capable of challenging the roughest terrains here in the Philippines and is arguably worth every single peso spent for its proven dependability. I do realize that's a lot of Philippine pesos, but you're also buying into a lot of dependability. By the way, the LC300 should be just around the corner. So for those that have always dreamed about getting an LC, the LC200 might be a great deal right now. And there you have it, our list for 10 best SUVs for Philippine roads. Now we realize not everyone's favorite made it to this list. So if you do us the favor and let us know in the comments below, well, we'd truly appreciate it. Thanks for watching everyone, stay safe, and we'll see you soon.